whenever I'm out in my car or with friends or just visiting somebody for the evening or the afternoon. I'm always watching right out of the corner of my eye. In fact, I'm watching out of the left corner and the right corner <laughs> for whatever catches my attention. Some little scene, you know, a duck landing on a pond might draw me to a, a little body of water that I might not have seen. I could just happen to see a, a rock or a tree that just compels me. Makes me want to be, well, just to be able to capture a moment. And so, as it goes, I often stop my car at the side of the road, safely, of course, <laughs> flashers on, and I like to get out, and I like to go over and get as close as I can and take photographs. Now, if time permits, I like to go in and uh, set up my little paint palette and paint a nice quick little rendering. And I think it's really important, you know, to not capture every last detail, especially in that moment when well, you're just, you're just there in passing. You've got somewhere to be, after all. And I really like that kind of a scenario because it stops us from overthinking and overanalyzing the scene before us. In fact, I really love the sketch approach because, in my view, the artist's job is not to capture every detail like a photograph. Although, I'll say right here and now, there are many wonderful ultra-realist artists out there for whom I simply kiss the ground you walk on because I don't have that kind of patience. That's really what it is, folks. I'm just a kind of a, always in a hurry to get somewhere. <laughs> and I just can't seem to slow down and, uh, well, put that kind of time in. But my philosophy in art is to capture the thing that, well, that captured me. The thing that stopped me by the side of the road or made me pause on my hike. And even further than that, the light and the shadows. The elements of the painting that bedazzled me, that just sparkled or the contrast that compelled me the shadows that drew me in oh how i am regularly drawn off my path to those kinds of scenes the fog the mist the rolling clouds the movement of the water the movement of the sky that's where my heart lies. That is the painting that I want to capture. And my paintings will be ever so simple and ever so slight. Even the large ones are not so heavily worked on because I really just want to capture that moment. Not too many moments, just that moment. The one that's memorable. The one that you're thinking about on your way home and you realize, I can't wait to get back to this place again. It's so beautiful. Hey, remember that, remember that cloud that rolled across the, the sky and just kind of darkened the water? Remember that breeze that just picked up and caused a nice row of white caps across the horizon line? And it sparkled under the moonlight. Yeah, those moments, those are the moments that I'm looking to capture. It's a little like capturing a bird in a cage. I mean, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think of going and, and 
acting a bird in a cage. That's horrible. But the painter has a wonderful skill and a talent to be able to render moments on a canvas that just stop it in time. And as the painting unfolds, well, then it speaks. Well, to some it sings. And to others, well, it, it harmonizes like a choir. And in that moment, somebody is spoken to. Somebody hears the voice singing. And somebody wants to bring it home. What is that voice? Well, it's simple. It's that feeling inside that says, I identify with this place. I've been here. And I want it all to myself. That's the kind of moment that I want to capture. Those kinds of moments that we very selfishly just want it all to ourself. And then we bring it home and we put it on our wall. And it forever reminds us of that special time when we were in that place. I have those moments. The privilege of being a full-time artist, traveling and painting. Well, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. And I'm glad to uh, have been chosen. <laughs> or rather... Uh, the situation chose me. It happened that way many years ago. My secure job at the bank suddenly became insecure, uh, came to an end, and I was out there painting art full-time, whether I liked it or not. And I gravitated to it. Never looked back. It's been almost 17 years now. And every day, I just go seeking moments Moments like this, where here I am sitting on a rock and the sky is moving and the sea, well, you can't see it yet. It's a lake and it's just frothing and the blues are rich and deep. Now sitting out there on those rocks are two trees. Here in Ontario, Canada, where I'm from, those are pine trees, and they're often referred to as lake trees. And they lived there for many, many years. They cling to those rocks with their tiny little roots. Their roots are like threads. And yet they hang on through rain and snow and ice and wind all season long, every season, for hundreds of years. And it's just like us, isn't it? Survival and endurance and perseverance, I might add. Now, something I don't want you to forget when you paint your little paintings, don't forget to, you know, put a little color in it. Let's make it dramatic, but not too gloomy. A little bit of happy green in there. That's olive green for anybody who wants to know. That's rose matter in the red for others who want to know about that. Van Dyke brown in the rocks. A little bit of Prussian blue mixed with the brown to capture the detailing, the shadows. And we'll just put a little bit of green right into those shadows. The little weeds and the little, well, greenery that mosses that grow on the rocks down there close to the water. Ah, oh, it feels like I'm there. Don't forget, you know, you want people to know who did this little painting. So sign your name. Always sign your name. And uh, also, uh, if you don't mind me saying, I really, really appreciate you being here with me. And hanging out for these few moments. So do me a favor, will you? And uh, like and share so that you'll capture the next video. And uh, YouTube will know that you were here. And show others. 
We'll see you again next time right here on The Robert Show. The Robert Painter on YouTube.